This is the work of one of the most famous and widely discussed female artists, Artemisia Gentileschi. She was born in Rome in 1593, the daughter of another painter, Horacio Gentileschi. Horacio fostered his daughter's artistic talents, which came to be responsible for one of the most dramatic incidents of her life. Horacio arranged private lessons for his daughter with Agostino Tassi, who coached Artemisia in the art of perspective. During one of these sessions, he raped her. Some understand this as profoundly impressing her artistic vision. We see her paint strong yet suffering women. Artemisia was very conscious of her role as a female in a predominantly male profession. Though she was at a disadvantage because of her sex, she, along with famous females like Queen Elizabeth of England, opposed the status quo. Artemisia would say things like, you will find the spirit of Caesar in the soul of a woman. This painting is of St. Catherine of Alexandria. She was a noble woman who refused to marry because she considered herself wed to Christ. Because of her refusal, she was threatened with torture on a wheel. In reality, this wheel would have had tremendous spikes on it. According to the story, the wheel broke at St. Catherine's touch, sparing her. However, she was ultimately beheaded. Because she is considered a martyr, someone who dies for their faith, we see her holding a palm branch, a sign of victory. Upon closer examination of this painting, we notice a visual oddity. The head and neck are very finely painted. With its soft shadows and masterful blending of color, it is clearly painted by a master hand. But if we look at the rest of the painting, it does not have the same sense of mastery. The draping is awkward, the brush strokes are less fine, the hands are not fully delineated. So the question really is, who is responsible for the head and neck? Is it Artemisia's father, Horacio? Are we seeing his work alongside the less experienced hand of a young Artemisia? Or are we seeing Artemisia's masterful work and the less experienced hand of her young daughter? If we look at Horacio's paintings, particularly the faces, they show a very strong outline of features, whereas Artemisia's features are much softer, having a subtler rendering of shades. For this reason, the El Paso Museum of Art believes this is not Horacio, but Artemisia painting the head and neck and her daughter painting the rest of the body. But the mystery in this painting is what makes it truly interesting. You can look at it and wonder yourself, what do I think about this painting? It shows us the process of someone learning the craft while simultaneously allowing us to appreciate the hand of a master.